Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today I'm going to be carrying on with Dredge. Let's get straight back to it. So we've put a new uh, engine for our ship. I think it um, is about 50% faster, I think, than our previous setup. So we haven't actually tested that yet, uh, which I'm looking forward to doing. We are... I, don't know what I, 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 I would like to... Get some, get some, maybe that lumber and stuff started. Although I think I've got a couple of minutes to empty this before I've got one hour remaining. Yeah, yeah. So let's get these crabs out before this thing breaks. Uh, we'll pick it up, and the other one's probably in a similar boat, so to speak. So let's grab that first. Um, pick it up. We're obviously taking up a bit of room. But let's um we got we gotta save up for our ocean rod now. We've I feel like this didn't save properly because we hmm. Or maybe it's just not showing in this view. I, I'm pretty sure that we we've, we've got the the space for the two by two rod. Um There's flounders. They're pretty tricky. I can't get another one in. We're going to have to look for something else to catch. Um, maybe some of these guys. We'll just do like a little local catch just to get some cash coming in. Ooh, these. Now these are interesting because... Um, get a trophy one. Because we found that little shrine in the last episode that looked like it might need some of these guys to uh, to kind of fill out. So... I don't know if there's a way to do this. Hmm. Uh, just to get just to get another one in. It's tricky. If there's enough squares. <laughs> it must be possible. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can get a couple more. And then we, maybe we'll take them over to that shrine and um, see if we can stick them in there and, and what that might do. We're going to need more than these, though. So um, it'll be a couple of trips. But I'm intrigued to see what that does because that uh, wasn't part of the demo. I've no idea what what, what, that, what happens there. Uh, I think we can take a little shortcut. I think if we can cut through here, I think we'll end up pretty close to it. Oh, it, feels, it definitely feels like we're moving faster. It's good. Uh, I think it's around here, isn't it? So when, you know, when our rods are going quicker, when we're moving quicker, it should be possible just to get more done in the day, which would be nice. Yeah, this is the weird thing. So let's start um, popping these in here. Yeah, we need two more. You can return to these items later. Good, okay. Uh, I mean, it might be possible to find some out here. Those are flounders, I think. Let's just pop over to this little group of fish, because they, they, they might be might be what we're after. There's another little group over there as well. No. Uh, but let's check this one out. Uh, these are like flounders again. Um, boom, 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 boom. Just seeing if I can see anything that I think. We'll, I think what we'll do, we'll catch a load. Oh, there's some over here actually. Let's test. See this. It might be flounders again. They're actually eels, I think. Let's catch some of these, and we'll sell our catch. I actually don't have that much room. All right, one more. Oh, barb deal. Ooh. A spine broken with sharp angles and crooked curves. A row of teeth bent on revenge. Ooh. Right, let's go and uh, sell our catch. Oh, yeah, it's, it's nice moving a bit quicker. It feels, it feels a lot different. Oh, 
I wonder if we'll do damage if we plow into the <laughs> into the dock head first. It's possible. Right, let's uh, let's go straight to the fishmonger. Oh, the fishmonger's door is barred from the inside. Hmm. That puts us in a little bit of a pickle. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's just keep stuff in here for now. And when he's open for business again, maybe we'll try and sell this fish if it's not sitting here for too long. I don't know if I don't know if it degrades. It might do. We can get our um, provided we've got enough money for it. Get our stuff repaired. Oh yeah, it's only thirty bucks. So let's do that. These things are repaired again. We can deploy them again, probably. Oh, there's another eel there. And then I think what we might do is head over to Little Marrow and sell that ring and stuff that we found. And we'll catch stuff on some stuff on the way as well. Although, saying that, maybe it would be a better idea to try and find some salvage spots. I'm sure there was one, o there was one over here, wasn't there? I might have, I might have got it already. Right, let's get our light on. Oh, there's some some strange colours zipping past. I think it's just uh, atm atmosphere. I, I don't think it signifies anything. I've got to like catch or anything. Oh, some lumber here. That's good. Uh, hopefully a few bits. No, we got we got a couple. That's all right. Oh, okay. So what is what are our bonuses for this book then? Uh, Five percent more movement speed than listed. So actually, we're I think we've gone from a twenty percent speed to 40% speed. I think we've basically doubled our, or rather 20 knots to 40 knots. I think we've basically doubled our speed, which is cool. Uh, yeah, we'll sell our trinkets. I actually haven't deployed the crab pots yet. Uh, what I might do is deploy them locally here. And then I might spend the night. I don't know if there has to be a, a decent distance between them, but that's fine. We'll stick, we'll stick another one there. Oh, what's, what happened with my light? Creepy. Okay, let's <laughs> ignore that. I think what I'm going to do is just spend the night here. I wonder if the fishmonger's open for business again. Let's check the pot. Nothing in there yet. We've got three days, so let's not worry too much. Um, but let's try and catch some more cod. Here we go. So we need to, we only need two. And this is a high deposit, so there should be multiple here. I guess we'll just catch as many as we can. I'm hoping the fishmonger's open today. I think that's it. Let's go back to the little shrine thing. I want to see what happens when we uh, fill that up. Some big stuff in there. What are they like? Tuna, maybe? I definitely want to get that ocean rod. Oh, this looks like scrap. Uh, I cannot get it. Yeah, yeah, two of these should be enough. I might even take that trophy one back, so I'll get more money for that. Right. A wave washes over the fish, sweeping them away. When the water recedes, you notice something has lodged against the rock. This is a sinew spindle. Uh, I guess it's a rod? Coastal and shallow, which is cool. 
what does it do with the uh, install time? Fishing speed forty four percent. So it is slower. But I could get I could uh, replace both of these, get my ocean one, and just have this for both coastal and shallow. One end is grafted to a crude bone hook. Cool. That's that's really nice actually. Oh, is it gotta go on a fishing? Uh I can just send it to storage. There we go. Nice. That was worth doing. Happy about that. Oh, no, I've crashed. I've lost a cod. <laughs> no. Might be one to replace it here. Uh, yeah, we'll grab some of these then. Yeah, I can get one more. Anything I can do to shunt stuff around? I don't think so, really. So I think we should um, see if the fishmonger's open. I think about moving quicker. It's a little bit harder to manoeuvre. It's got a little bit of um, drift. At least that's what it feels like. Oh, please be open, fishmonger. Maybe he's gone mad or something. I hope not. Well, first things first, let's look at our storage and I'm going to stick the uh, lumber in there first. Uh, if we get rid of... Un uninstall that. I wonder if I can sell it instead. Uh, yeah, let's just see if Fishmonger's open. Here he is. Oh, blind and headache yesterday. You come by, I don't recall. Anyway, what I do for you? Let's sell our fish, please. And we're going to empty our storage and sell some more. Commit yourself, especially when that sun starts going down. Better to come back with a small catch than to not come back at all. Sell this stuff, including the weird one. Um, now I'm going to see if I can sell my this type of rod, or I could sell this one and actually get more money. I mean, truthfully, I could sell both. Let's repair first of all. Well, let's just think. Can I, well, I don't actually need... Yeah, okay. Let's yeah, sell this. Um, uh, pick up. Can I install it? Place. Uh, how do I do that? I might have to come out of here to do it, so my storage. I guess we'll put it on this one. There we go, we're still shy, of, so we can still do all the fishing we could anyway. It's going to take a little longer. Um, there we go, a weird eel. Maybe we'll come out at night, maybe we can catch a weird squid as well. Um just think yeah, I'd like the ocean one but we need more we need more fish so yeah so let's go out and uh, do a bit of evening fishing we can see these are yeah these are squid I think let's see if we can catch a weird one it's a normal one oh a trophy one another normal one that's okay Ooh. There's there's weird there's weird stuff going on in the water. Oh, we're moving so quickly now. 
What's this? This looks like a group. Oh, yeah, we'll catch that. The main thing is we're after money. Oh, so much for them. Something here. Oops. So what is this stingray? Do we have we caught one of those before? I'm not sure we have. I uh, don't think I can fit another one. I think I can actually. There we go. Pretty nice haul. I think we'll go. Oh, hello. See that ship over there? That's not a ship. <laughs> I'm going to avoid it if I can. I, it's, I seem to remember it was. Uh, oh, something slithers into your cargo hold. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, arrow squid infected rises from the depths at night to feed or be fed upon. Oh no, that's what the other. That's what they all say. That's what she said. Ooh, I was gonna say yeah, that boat. It's um, it's a supernatural thing. Um, but I think it. I think it will hurt the boat. I'd rather not lose any catch. Uh, yeah, sell my weird fish. Got enough now, um, but I think we'll sleep. And I think we'll visit the shipwright, and let's get this hydraulic rod. Stick it in. Uh, yeah, install four hours, that's fine. It takes up to 10 a.m. Now we can kind of hit the, o the open spaces a bit better now. Let's go do the very thing. Let's um, head up towards that island. Uh, uh, actually, we'll back up. Back up. A better idea would be to um, let's turn the light off for a start. My storage. Um, actually, uh, let's just check what the builder needed. Two lumber, two scrap. Well, I've got that now, haven't I? So let's go over and deposit what she needs at that island. And on the way back, we'll catch some ocean fish. I wasted half the day doing this. Doesn't matter, though. I'm sure nothing bad will happen if we get caught out about at night. So this is actually an ocean fish. Let's have a, a quick look at my hold. Yeah, I won't be able to fit that. We'll, we'll get it. We'll, we'll get it at some point. Now we've got to go round sort of this side of this island. It's actually not too far. Particularly now we're making good time. I think it's here, is it? Material pile, yeah. So, let's go for scraps. A couple of lumbers. There we go, you've delivered all the necessary materials. You should let the builder know. Well, they're in the Greater Marrow, aren't they? So we'll do that. First, I see a couple of. Ah, oh, this looks like a shipwreck over here. Let's see what we can find. I think that might be it. Oh, there's another one. Let's see what this is. I'd like to work towards getting a, a, a bigger hold for more cargo. Well, cargo, more fish and stuff. 
Oops. No, it's all, it's all gone wrong. Ah. Oh, I used a lot of time, but we've got some sort of goblet thing. It, that's exactly what it is. It's a goblet. A bit late, isn't it? There's something, some, something weird over there. Maybe we're going to investigate that. I mean, that's just scrap metal, I think. I want to see what the was one of those ships over there. This looks pretty interesting. I want to see what this is. It's probably a, another weird fish. Uh, okay. Voltaic grouper. An unknown green energy arcs and crackles over this fish's scales. It thrashes ceaselessly, even hours after being pulled from the water. Ooh, I'm not going to catch any more because I'd like to have a bit of space space available. I don't know what that was. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, let's go. Oh, come I wonder if we could spend the night at this... Whoa! This do dock. I don't really want to go all the way back. Let's see. We can. Okay, well, I think I will. Um, I didn't want to... I didn't want to... I didn't want to die. <laughs> um, but, so we'll head back to Greater Mary now. Let's turn that out. We'll, we'll catch, um, like, a deep ocean something. This is coaster. We know what these are. I want to. I want to see what those big things are out here. Where are we? Ooh. Some here. Yeah, let's see what these are. Could be a dogfish. Bronze whaler. Oh wow, they're a unusual shape. I just want to rearrange slightly. There we go. Okay. I mean, wow, they're big. I, I can't get any more of them, though. Here we go. This is home. What I think of as home. Oh, there's a weird one over there, though. I'll drop some lumber if, if needed. I'd like to get another weird fish. Okay, cod. It might be possible to fit them in. Um, I'm not quite sure how. I'll probably have to drop the lumber. I'm going to get rid of the normal ones. Oops. Yeah, yeah, we'll take that. This is uh, fanged cod. Deviantly sharp teeth with chunks of smaller fish lodged between. A hunger in its eyes. Ooh. Yeah, so we may have to get rid of that. I mean, it might be possible to re rearrange stuff, but let's see. I can get a lumber in there. I can take. I might take. Uh... Yeah, I think that the goblet's probably rarer than the. Uh... lumber. There's like more of these guys. I definitely want to get a... a oh, there's another weird one. What do we get here? This is a host deal. Numerous glowing shapes flicker and squirm behind a distended ribcage. The rest of the fish is withered and drained. Yeah, I think we'll dump the other lumber. Three weird fish to bring in. And a big guy. I 
Ah, let's talk to the builder first. You've done it. Well, no sense in wasting time. Let's get moving. A passenger. Uh, yeah, we'll return to these items later. No room on deck? I'll come back when you have more space. I'll be waiting. Yeah, we've got loads of stuff to sell. 266. Don't mind if I do. And that goblet. Um, so we'll take our passenger now. Good riddance to you, Greater Marrow. I'm onward bound. Now let's check in at the dry dock and see what we need. Uh, okay, so I need all of these upgrades before I can make a new hull. Net space is probably not. Engine space is meh. Uh, yeah, I don't have enough for that. Because I need the lumber I chucked away. They all need lumber. Yeah, okay. Need a lot of lumber, basically. Um, well, let's go. Because uh, we'll take this builder off to her new place and see what we can get on the way as well. Might find some more salvage spots. Might grab one of these big boys again. Yes, this'll do. Thank you, fella. Give me a short while to get things built here. You're welcome back any time. She reaches into her toolbox and pulls out a handful of components. Take these. Always good to have on hand. Research bits. Very nice. Thank you. Right. We haven't found this anywhere else. It seems to be sort of... Um, I mean, so far, it exclusively like quest re uh, rewards. I might go over to this little sort of... I mean, I don't want to call it an archipelago, but it, it kind of is. It's getting dark, though. My thinking was it's not too far from that dock we can s sleep at. I think this is going to be mangrove, looking at those trees. I just wonder if there might be a shipwreck or anything. There's a boat there. Hello? You pull up alongside a boat at anchor. There are signs of life on board, but nobody appears to greet you. Call out. Almost immediately, a small slot on the door snaps open. A pair of frantic eyes peer out at you. Who goes there? A fisherman. What do you want? I was just checking to see if you're okay. Do I seem okay? No, I'm very much not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to Little Marrow, but I'm being stalked. A huge leviathan lurks in these deep waters. I've seen it. It hung in the water, its gaping mouth just below the boat. It would have swallowed this vessel whole if I hadn't bolted for the shallows. I'm not going any further into this accursed island chain. Um, yeah, well, let's, let's offer to deliver it for him. You would? Oh, well, that would work, I guess. Large package. It's dense, damp, and very sticky. <laughs> okay, we'll take that. The courier pushes a lumpy brown package through the door hole. It squelches slightly as you take it in your hands. Dark fluid oozes from one corner. Thank you, stranger. This is bound for the dock worker at Little Marrow. I'm not sure what's inside, but... Uh, listen, I know this sounds crazy. Sometimes I think I can hear the faintest of whispers coming from it. Now, I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods. I don't have the equipment for it. So just um, be careful with this thing, whatever it is. Here, why don't you take this too? Again an item emerged from the door hole. This time a book is pushed through and thuds onto the deck below. You pick it up. I'll be on my way whenever the coast is clear. Safe travels. So a quick look at that book then. Uh, getting over it with mind and body. Yeah, we'll take that. So let's just have a... Okay, so that's... Possibly lumber. Something else over there. Ooh. 
let's uh, let's grab this. Ooh, okay. Immediately smashes into the thing. <laughs> what do we get? Uh, a broken monocle. Okay. It's half past eight. Hmm. Well, there's the lighthouse. Ooh, okay. Spooky stuff. I see a weird fish to fish catch over here. It's quite near the uh, the dock we're headed to anyway. So let's let's do that. Catch this on route. Uh, a squid. Okay. Two chances to catch a weird one. Well, we can always. Here we go. Snag squid. Uh, tasting tongues writhe wildly around sets of yellow, crooked teeth. The top row are flattered like human molars. Ew. <laughs> Let's put one of our ordinary ones back, and we'll we'll take this with us. And we are full up, but I think we're going to... Where's that other boat that's going around? Yeah, I think we're just going to go to that dock. But the builder didn't expect to see us back quite so soon. Um... Yeah, so I think we just think we just rest. Right, well we've got to go and sell our stuff, so I think that's the priority. I haven't found any of these sort of collector artifacts yet. There's probably some lumber there. I'll come back for that. I want to kind of check. Want to check around where that weird light was coming from at night. Oh, we turn our lights off. All right, sell our fish first. Some fish prefer deeper water, while others stick to the shallows. You're looking for something specific, it's important to know what depth you're working with. Alright, sell all fish, $142, thank you very much. I think we may have to go to the other place as well. That's okay though. In my storage, I've got a couple of research bits now. A package to deliver, a couple of trinkets to sell. What have I got to do in my cabin? Got some weird stuff. Such for relics. Okay, so there's a key in here somewhere. Um, I want to get rid of the package though. It, it is kind of bulky. I'll check the crab pots while I'm over there. As it happens, needs repair. That's fine. We've really been away for three days. Maybe we have. Oh, that's just not quite the right shape, is it? Tell you what, do that. Right there. Get rid of this package, then we'll check the other one. How's the day treating you? Uh, i got a package for you. Delivery, eh? Oh, it's a big one. Let me see. He takes the large package and examines it gently with his hands. He lifts it to one ear and listens for a while. He seems satisfied. Much appreciated, friend. Now, if you'll excuse me, wish me luck. He turns and hurries off down the dock without another word to you. Or compensation. I guess we kind of already got our reward. What have I still got? So, I've got to sell the crabs. 
crapots. We'll visit the little trader. Welcome. Found anything special lately? Yeah, 50 bucks worth. Uh, let's check this crab pot. This thing needs repair as well. Similar problem fitting these guys in. Um, hang on. Yeah, I've actually got loads of room. But I think we probably need to head back now because we're going to pick up the trap as well. So let's just uh, let's head back. think about what else we want to do today. Weird kind of time because it's going to be late by the time we get anywhere now. Right, let's go sell the stuff. Rosy weather almost makes you not want to get out of bed. Drew and I, we got to do it, eh? But what keeps people from going hungry? Have a hundred bucks worth of crabs. Um, a pair of crab traps. Uh, yeah, repair. What we could do is just go and get that lumber and then get like an upgrade going. That's off around this way, wasn't it? these down there. Let's take this around the corner a little bit. Pop one of those there. I'm not going to fish. Oh, we've got loads of money at the moment. Or at least it feels like quite a lot. Ah, I thought this was lumber. Never mind. For big jaunts. We'll do. Let's we'll go around this island again. Looking for any lumber or shipwrecks or things of that nature. Actually, let's. Um, let's get our light on. I'm going to go over here. Something here? What's this? Shapes in the deep. Oh, it's a key. I think this might be what we're after, actually. Some of these are really uh, fast. Right, okay. Oh, no, it fits around there. That's cool. Well, that's exactly what the collector wanted, so... Maybe we should go to his dock. I'm going to just kind of swing around this way first. Those are just eels. I'm not going to take those. I'm just... Ooh. This, however... Oh, there's something big down there. Did you see it? It's like a big um, skeleton. It's like spines and uh, head of some sea beast. <laughs> When I get a tusked group, we've already had one of those. I can get one in. There we go, we'll put that there. Oh, what's going on? No! Ah! We're taking damage. Something, something, something came for us. Get to the dock. safe now. Something hit us. I want to have a quick look at my... Okay. Yeah, <laughs> my rods are damaged. We didn't lose anything. I, I don't think. Um, but all my stuff's broken. <laughs> so we might sleep here tonight. Well, let's go and deliver this thing to Collector. Yeah. Uh, you enter the Collector's house. He's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. 
Well, you have something, don't you? Show me. You hand him the key. The cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head, now somehow seem changed. Smaller. Has it always been this way? Is this all? Where is the lock? The collector grows agitated. It seems the prices we're looking for have travelled further... Oh, sorry. It seems the pieces we're looking for have travelled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. He turns a few pages in his book and mutters something low under his breath. A burst of light fills your vision and you stagger back briefly. Now go. We have more relics to uncover. Ability unlocked. Haste. Otherworldly. Blah, blah, blah. I didn't quite see that in time. My intuition tells me that the current may have carried some debris to the southeast, towards Gale Cliffs. Make that your priority. I'll mark the location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Uh, the words you read from that book, what did they do to me? The book holds power from the deep. I merely extended its powers towards you. Is there one in particular you wish to know more about? The haste thing. Tell me how that works. The words of haste are instant and cruel. They will impart a terrible speed to your vessel. Be warned, however, it may put a great deal of stress on your engines. Okay. So it's to be used in an emergency, perhaps. How long have you lived here? Quite some time. I used to be a fisherman, as was my father before. But two decades ago, I took up residence here. I needed to focus on other endeavours. I found that this island has a certain strength to it. Those dark basalt columns stretching downwards into the deep. Anything else? Do you know who owned these relics? Yes. Who? He looks at you. For a moment, a look of something like regret flashes in his eyes. An old friend. Anything else? Where should I look for relics? My... Okay, so we, he's already told us that. I guess, they'll, I guess we'll leave. <laughs> We're slightly on fire. Um, what's, what's happening in the workshop? It looks as though it hasn't been used in decades. We can go inside? Oh, it's locked. Fair enough. Uh, let's have a look at my storage. What have we got going on? Yeah, let's dump some of this stuff in here. Um, interesting. Okay, well, we obviously need <laughs> we obviously need to go back to the shipyard to repair, but that's going to happen. We'll do that in, uh, in tomorrow. I think we're going to rest here, and um, we'll leave it there as well. So thanks very much for watching this episode of Dredge. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then please do hit the thumbs up button on the video. Um, yeah, well, we've um, def definitely been <laughs> running into some more creepy stuff, aren't we? I'm not quite sure what attacked me. It was, um, I think there's things a bit like, um, oh, angler, you know, anglerfish with that sort of um, bulb coming on a stalk out their head. I, I think they're a little bit like that, but giant. And I think that's what attacked us. Um, but yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel, then please do. It'd be amazing to have you on the on Boring Dad Gaming, and um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this playthrough. So thanks very much, and I'll hope to see you next time for more Dredge. Bye for now.